This is Experiments 101. I'm just really winging it right now. I played in one game already and my wig almost came off. That was not my finest hour. I don't have time for these European caucus people to be talking about me and my wigs. Girl, what you doing? No to the dress. Not yes to the dress. No to the dress. All right. Brown baller, take one. Action. It's been three weeks and I'm getting a little fuzzy. I'm getting a little antsy. It's time to take them out. I just put my hair in these little braids. I'm about to put this wig on. Oh, okay. I hope that you guys can hear me because I'm whispering my roommate is sleeping. I'm about to put this little baby on. Well, this is big baby. This ain't little baby, okay? She's not for the week. <laughs> By the way, this is a custom color. It's not even a color. It's a custom bleach highlight type of job. And I do have a video up on my channel, so make sure you guys go check that out. I try to link it somewhere in this video y'all when i say i am so tired your girl is tired we had a, a very hard day at practice today so tomorrow is not really a game they call it a friendly match overseas but it's a scrimmage my coach is basically like well this is practice so i don't really have no sympathy for y'all so we went extra hard today in practice and your girl is tired i'm about to make this real simple and easy though i've been using this jamaican organic pimento oil with black castor oil, and i mixed some eucalyptus black castor oil inside of it i absolutely love it so far i've been using it a lot i got it from tj maxx if you go on tj maxx i feel like you can find the best stuff and like you're not even looking for it you're not even searching for it but you just find i'm in my new you know my setup for the next eight months of me living in europe i'm in germany right now this is my first time recording a video here and like I haven't really like fully set up how I want to record. It's real good right now. This little wig cap on just to protect myself. I put these braids in but they're looking kind of chunky so I hope they're not too bulky. That's why is your wig bumping like that? <laughs> little speed bumps. <laughs> I use my foundation. This is 360 Mocha by Maybelline Fit Me. I'm gonna put it along this lace i don't really know if this lace is hd like i just feel like i don't want to be in boodle if i really want to believe that this lace is hd because i really 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 wanted an hd lace wig but it's just not giving the hd that i see on social media it melts into my skin and everything but it's just like i'm not sold your hd and my hd ain't giving what it's supposed to be let me stop. I told you I'm tired. Please. Here is what it's looking like after I put foundation on. I'm just going to put this on to see how it's going to lay. Let me tuck my combs in so we can have some extra security. Goodness gracious. Good, good God. Good, great. Google and Google it. It's giving security right now. Because I have these anchor braids along the side. It's giving lioness. <laughs> See, that's why we grease the edges so that, like, we don't have no problems. I would like my edges to still be intact for the making of this video. I really, really want to attempt to try to play in this wig. However, I don't have time for a slip back. I don't have time girl i don't have time i love this hair like this curl pattern is so pretty i can't wait to just wear it more like so i can really give a solid review this is freshly washed i didn't even condition the hair yet and it's long too so it's coming down 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 
we're going down, down, baby. Baby, baby, as we go. Now we leave the building. Is there a way I can peel this muffin cat back with? And I need to make sure my sideburns are pulled down too because I've got to have a sideburn. I don't know about y'all, but I have to have a sideburn when I do any of my wigs. If it's a full waist front, if it's a closure, whatever. I got to have sideburns. What's crazy is I have this lace tape and I really want to try that, but your girl ain't never used lace tape before. And that is the quickest way to remove your edges. I want to keep my edges. And I just watched a video on this dude using lace tape. And I just want to try it out. But the way that he used it though, I kind of like. He didn't put it on the girl's skin. He did the ball cap method. And then he put the lace tape on the girl's ball cap method. And he still used glue around the lace. So maybe that's what I'm going to try to do. I think I can do it or no. I believe I can achieve. So we're going to try it out. I'm going to use this eyebrow pencil. And what I'm going to do is just like mark. I just marked where the lace is. I don't know if y'all can see. Whenever I be putting on glue and I don't have my wig on or I don't like mark where it is, the glue be all the way down here on my forehead. And it's like, why is it there, Court? Like, why did you put that glue there? Your wig is not that far down. I don't have any alcohol right now. I'ma just use some of this hand sanitizer spray and it has 70% alcohol in it. So I'm just using it to literally clean my surface of my forehead. Which, how am I supposed to do that and keep the marks there? Oh, God be with us. I'm just going to clean around it. Oh, for this lace tape, I'm going to like do this like this. Because it kind of does it for you already. I'm actually going to cut this. Because I'm just really winging it right now. Before I even put the lace tape on, I'm going to add a layer of this glue. This is the stick on you. It hasn't felt me thus far, so I'm going to continue to use it and ride with her until she don't rock with me no more. And what I do need is something to smooth this out. I am a sweater, okay? I'm about to be sweating my butt off tomorrow in this game. We just going to hope for the best with this tape and the glue. And I really hope that it works because, one, I don't have time for no mishaps. And two, I just need a new method and something different. I just feel like nothing is working for me. So I'm going to peel off the tape and I'm going to just place it right in the same place where the glue stops. I think I was supposed to take off the other piece, but it's cool. Place this right here, and I put one more. Y'all, this is experiments 101. I'm okay to experiment with y'all though, because you know what I'm saying? We learn this stuff together. God bless it. And y'all see, my glue is pretty much dry, so I love curly hair at this point because I just feel like you don't have to do so much with it like with straight hair or body wave hair you gotta either curl it straighten it you gotta do a lot but i have like come to a realization that i just prefer curly hair i gotta be doing a whole bunch of manipulation and a whole bunch of a whole lot a lot of so this little baby right here <laughs> this little piggy right here is not really laying flat i'm gonna take these off very delicately I think I made a mistake because I put on the foundation on my wig and I tried it on so now the foundation is on the lace tape but it's cool because we're gonna make it work my glue is clear this tape is real ghetto and 97% sure that it will not work but I'm gonna just go along with it anyway you know I'm actually gonna put one more layer on I really want this to work I want your layers of glue to be really thin and smooth for the longest time i was very like skeptical and very nervous for trying glue because i didn't know what i was doing and i didn't know how to take it off and it's one of the things that i just didn't know with glue it's just 
you gotta make sure you clean your surface before you put it on the amount you put on is not too thick because you really need it to be thin and smooth you can't have it like bumpy oil is your enemy when dealing with glue like it's just a bunch of things that you just need to know and your girl didn't know about them at all <sighs> your girl's nothing okay and i did the wig on straggle over here now that i have my wig in place let me just make sure i can put my comb again because that is also in oh, jesus and i'm just gonna lightly press the lace in i'm gonna lightly press the lace in know how you get like rolls in the line girl not rolling down the river waves in the lace like you have to make sure that thing is straight like you don't want no issues you don't want no smoke ma but what i do need is this to be cut because that's not cute all right so you can see a little lacy a little bit not a little lacy i'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on my comb and just go kind of pull my wig back and go under I do this to myself all the time like staying up late to do what put her to bed put her on her misery my wig slid down for the most part it feels good, it feels secure. Again, I'm just gonna pray about it and hope for the best. Have y'all ever been to somebody's house and like was doing their hair or I don't know, like you asked to use one of their combs or their brushes and like their brushes got hella hair or their combs and edge control brushes got like a bunch of like caked up gel and product on it. I swear my niece is the worst. She has like 10 of these brushes. They all got they all have caked up gel edge control hairspray like all along here i go in her little hair drawer and i just throw everything away you will not be associated with me and this is how you're acting with your hair stuff like this is disgusting now i'm gonna put on my little wrap and melt the lace even more i really need this to work for tomorrow because I played in one game already and my wig almost came off. That was not my finest hour. I don't have time for these European caucus people to be talking about me and my wigs. Normally when I play in my wigs, I'll sew them on, which I'm like two seconds away from doing. No, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. I need to figure something out outside of just sewing on my wig. But I do appreciate the security in these combs on the side. Like that's what's making me say no, no to the dress. Not yes to the dress, no to the dress. Okay. I'm gonna let this sit on for about a good little 15 minutes. I don't really want a part. Like I'd rather it just be like wild and bushy. So far when I've worn this hair, I've had a part in it and I don't really want a part. I just wanted to show you guys like the different dimensions of this hair like I'm so proud of myself when I did these freaking highlights like this color looks so good on my skin like ooh, she's giving okay so I'm gonna stop looking at myself in the mirror I'm about to make sure I have everything pretty much packed up for tomorrow and then I'm gonna come back and take off this little scarf thing when I'm done so I could do some baby hairs with y'all and I can go to bed. Later that same evening. If I'm being honest, I got absolutely nothing done. I had to fill out some forms for the trip tomorrow. So it's so weird here because everywhere here you have to like do like the carbon footprinting. So everywhere you go, like restaurants and stuff, you have to sign in 
they basically put your information down. So if somebody were to get COVID, they have to contact you and let them know, like let you know that someone got COVID here, so you should go get tested because y'all was here at the same time. I mean, it's great and everything because America does nothing like that, but like it's also annoying. But oh, she's melted. <laughs> I officially have a headache, but baby is melted into my skin. You can't tell where she starts and where she ends. <laughs> No, but for real, I'm about to like attempt to do some type of baby hair situation. Y'all know I don't do baby hairs like that. It's some um, like already kind of cut a little bit. And then we're gonna just go. We're gonna do some more. I'm afraid to cut my baby hairs too short because I don't really know what I'm doing. I would rather cut them too long than to cut them too short and be like, what the heck is this? I'm actually going to lay my baby hairs down with, um, we're going to see how this equal style work. We're going to see what is putting down. These are cute. They ain't gonna stay nowhere, but they're cute. <sighs> they not matching up. They're not reaching their full potential. <sighs> See, this is what I mean. Like, this is where the struggle comes in. And it's like, as soon as I'm at the finish line, I always gotta face a hurdle. And the hurdle is these dang on baby hairs. So I'm gonna use my little got to be glue. She never serves me wrong. It really is almost two o'clock, so I gotta go to bed for real. But I'm gonna make some shake. Hey, 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 hey. I'm gonna make some. I'm gonna make some shake. I'm not gonna put too much more of an effort into this because they're gonna get sweated out anyway. I'm literally doing this for y'all right now for the video. So you know what? God is good all the time, and he gonna provide for me and my family. Girl, what are you even talking about? <laughs> like, I'm gonna just lay these down. I'm gonna go to bed just like this, and in the morning, I'm gonna let y'all see how the baby hairs go. But I need to get to bed because I have a whole game tomorrow. To go to bed, though, I'm just gonna, because I want my hair to be, like, flip over, I'm not gonna separate it like that. I'm going to literally twist this. The sun is out. It's the next day. I'm literally about to walk out of the door, but I just wanted to show y'all, you know, the morning after. My hair is still a little bit damp, which is a good thing. Just kind of like fluffing it out. So I'm gonna take her off. This is what she's giving. I probably will like brush out the baby hairs a little bit so they're not like plastered onto my forehead. Oh, my straps came loose, Lord. Can't have the straps loose. I really, really, really don't want to put a part in it. So I will not be forced into doing anything I don't want to do at all. This is for my natural hair right here. The Argon Oil um, Leave-In Conditioner Strength and Shine. It's for, literally it's for my natural hair, but I'm just going to spray a little bit. Because I don't have a spray bottle. Oh, it smells really good. I forgot how it smells. The front hair was giving frizz lioness, and the back hair was not cooperating. I probably would wet it down just a little bit, but that is all, baby. I'm about to go get on this bus and be knocked again. I'm so tired. Like, the bags under my eyes are not giving anything that they need to give. Yeah, it's literally like 9 20, and we're about to leave. So I just wanted to come back this morning and let y'all see little baby in her raw element and i'm gonna give y'all some flicks later because 
obviously I have a game, so I can't be like, oh, you know, cute, cute. I was thinking if I should bring um, makeup with me, but I probably won't bring any makeup, so it's whatever. But I love you guys. I can't wait to see the next one. Peace. I just wanted to show you guys my little outfit as well as the finished product of my hair. Y'all know I had to show y'all the finished little product. I did my little sideburns. I'm sure by the end of the night, they're gonna sweat out. I think it's super cute with my little skunk stripe in the front. Oh, whatever. <laughs> So I'm in Prague, we won our game today. I'm real casual cute. I got these leather pants on with my little Nikes. I don't even know what kind of shoes these are, but they're cute, I know that much. Just use this um, Pantene like oil. I don't know if y'all can see. I really don't even know what it says, but I need, it says Argan oil right here, if y'all can read that. But um, I just got this out of the store because it's all that I've seen. I need to get some oil. And then I just use my good old faithful got to be glue to do my edges. Per usual. It's cute. It's cute. Either way, it's gonna be cute. Period. Dot.